Oh, hello guys, Dark Game here, and welcome to a new game series on design is Deponia Doomsday. I should be playing the first one, but as I got the city on the um, Twitch Prime, I had this on here. I didn't realize, for which I decided oh, screw it, I'll just play it from there, and then I decided to do the other way around. Pretty I'll do this backwards, I know. Anyway, and it's will cause spoilers, but I already seen the ending to the first one. But anyway, please like and subscribe to the channel, and let's get right to it. The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts. Built walls against spears. Ladders against walls and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> he saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit... Even after all this time, I... I keep asking myself... If I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be? The better ending. Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. <laughs> Kidding. Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few bucks. I had to hurry. The Edward Snowman was no beauty, it was all I had left. The Edward Snowman, it was all I had left. The Organon had sealed the door to the Blast Tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke. <laughs> it 
Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. Huh. Tell me something I don't know. Nothing. The Organon had sealed, as if to what a joke. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower, as if to say, what a joke. I toyed with the idea of just burning through the door, but sometimes I also toyed with the idea of melting my feet in folic acid. Jeremiah used to call it anemic delirium. I toyed with the idea of just burning, but sometimes I also toyed with the idea of melting my feet in folic acid. Jeremiah used to call it anemic delirium. Much as I loved my homemade flamethrower, it was useless against the bolt. with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. Did the Crystal Overlords just want me to think that?
oozy breath from my chest. You could see everything from up here. The destruction, the hopelessness, and the button that would simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. The end of... Frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Huh? Oh, typical. Even Armageddon has lost it over. Just you wait. Uh-oh. Like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze too straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the stage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. What a nightmare. I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I'd better get her crystal glasses packed. Not that anything would happen to them. Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I 
uncovered an Organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. Not without bubble wrap. No one should ever accuse me of not learning from experience. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out. How stupid of me. And I wanted to take Tony with me, too. But the new and improved Rufus no longer throws junk at his girlfriend's crystal glasses. I can build a machine that turns worthless junk into useful objects. Uh, no, too bad. I can build a machine that turns worthless junk into useful objects. Uh, no, too bad. Away with that! These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough. I need for that is my fingers and a blazing fire in the stove. All I need for and a blazing tempting, but the new and improved Rufus. No one should ever... No, I've been practicing the next time. No, I've been the next time. No, I've been the next time. Finally. We're allowed to light. Finally.
Ivan, the next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. Not without no one. Why worry about f I'm taking Tony with me after all? Eh, too bad. Why worry about finding a suitable anchor? I'm taking Tony with me after all. Not with no one. I'd need an adapter to mount that here. Well, that and a good reason. That is already disassembled. And as every tinkerer knows, after dis comes re. I can build a machine. Eh, too bad. All I need for that, and a blit. Eh, the fire's gone out. No wonder. These visions aren't. I should become a. Nina, <laughs> Hey! Stop! You can't park here! You. Oh boy. Somehow my vision missed this. Hey! You there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh, uh, okay. What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. 
Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my... turning this crank here? No! Wait! <laughs> Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute, I know you. You're Mr. Macronicle. Macronicle? But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture, but while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now. Great now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's, come on, come on, come on. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not... Well, did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Whatever, I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could... Too late! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Uh, here we go again. Rufus? Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! Hey, hello.
I hope his problems with reverse gear are limited to spatial dimensions. Well? Don't ask. First, I have to find some way of getting rid of that stupid pink elephant before we go out and try the whole thing again. Hey, Mac. World come to an end yet? I fear so, but only be sure when it happens again. And? Caught any temporal anomalies yet? That's not how it works. Maybe you're holding the fishing rod the wrong way around. It's not a fishing rod. It's a device with which you can measure quantum superimpositions. <laughs> and then you wonder when no one takes the bait? There's a pink elephant running around here that keeps bothering me when I'm guiding you back. A pink elephant? That's highly unsettling. It could be the vanguard of a pink stampede. Or the time reset is having a detrimental effect on your central nervous system. No, oh, impossible. I injected hot lead into my nervous system to double my imagination. I can't imagine how that would work. Well, I can. Do you think my dream might also be a temporal anomaly? Possible? What was it about? I saved an Elysian from the Organon, and together we... Well, spare me the details, please. I'm sure that it was only a dream, and a rather common one at that. I need to get rid of that pink elephant right away. Perhaps you should visit a doctor. <laughs> no, I can't expect any help from Dr. Gizmo. I'm banned from his clinic because I sometimes snack on expired drugs from his trash can. Uh, uh. Do we want to turn? I don't know. It seems left. Are you sure you're? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Right. I hate repeating. What? Burnett has already closed up? Ah, uh, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. Here is a suitable container. Huh. What we need here is a suit. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. Stay vertical. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tephanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Wenzel, is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern, honest. Very funny, but great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh, yes, the have you, but... I just meant 
whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. Then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that fool, huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man, huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. He's got no job, no manners, and the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto. Don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> for the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man. A real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard? Huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're gonna have a storm. Lotto, what happened to you? You can. You can. You can call me Lottie from now on. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end here. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys later. Gotta get out of here tonight